Today, we're excited to complete the iPhone 16 family. This is iPhone 16e. This bold move by Apple has sent shockwaves through the semiconductor industry, with Qualcomm catching cold by taking heavy losses on the stock market. Let's delve into the move by Apple that not only redefines its hardware strategy, but also sends ripples throughout the semiconductor industry and raises important questions about the survival of Qualcomm. Join the Brobson business family and subscribe to stay in the loop for educative and informative business stories to keep you updated in the world of business. Please subscribe now to help others see this video. For many years, Apple has depended on companies like Qualcomm to supply modem chips that enable its devices to communicate with mobile networks. These chips are essential for handling wireless connectivity, converting digital signals into radio waves and back again so that phones can make calls, send texts, and connect to the internet at high speeds. However, with the introduction of the C1 modem chip, Apple is taking control of one of its most critical components. This move is reminiscent of the excitement that surrounded the launch of the M1 chip back in November. November 2020. This chip revolutionized the way we think about personal computing and signaled Apple's commitment to building its own purpose-built silicon. Just as the M1 chip transformed the Mac by offering better performance and tighter integration with the operating system, the C1 chip is poised to reshape mobile connectivity by giving Apple full control over a key element of its device architecture. The new C1 chip is designed to offer improved overall device performance and battery life by enabling tighter integration between hardware and software. In a traditional setup, modem chips are designed by third-party companies and then integrated into smartphones, which means that Apple has had to work within the limitations of another company's technology and production timelines. With the C1, Apple is no longer constrained by those external factors. Instead, it can tailor the chip specifically to match its own design philosophies, creating a more efficient communication protocol and optimizing power usage in ways that simply weren't possible before. This level of customization not only promises better performance, but also means that Apple can potentially reduce costs over time by eliminating licensing fees and other expenses associated with external suppliers. It is important to note, however, that the first iteration of the C1 chip has a notable limitation. It does not support millimeter wave 5G technology. Millimeter wave is known for its ability to deliver ultra high speed connectivity and very low latency, which are particularly valuable in densely populated urban areas where network congestion can be a major issue. In the current version, while the C1 chip excels in improving power management and overall efficiency, it falls short in harnessing the full potential of 5G speeds that millimeter wave technology can offer. Apple has already indicated that this is just the beginning of its in-house modem journey. The company is reportedly working on a second generation modem chip that will include millimeter wave support, promising even more significant enhancements in future iterations of the iPhone. This move by Apple has immediate and far-reaching consequences for its longtime partner, Qualcomm. Qualcomm has built a reputation as a leader in modem technology, and its chips have been a critical component in the functionality of Apple devices for many years. The company's business model has benefited greatly from the significant revenues generated through modem chip sales and the associated patent licensing fees. However, with Apple now transitioning to an in-house solution, Qualcomm faces a potential loss of a major revenue stream. Industry analysts project that Apple's share of Qualcomm's business could drop to around 20% by 2026, with the possibility of phasing out Qualcomm chips entirely by 2026 2027. Such a shift represents not only a strategic challenge for Qualcomm, but also a signal of just how quickly the dynamics in the semiconductor industry can change. The market's reaction to Apple's announcement was immediate and dramatic. When investors first learned about the plan to switch to the C1 chip, Qualcomm's stock experienced noticeable volatility, with a sharp drop in value as market sentiment turned cautious. This reaction was fueled by concerns over the potential loss of one of Qualcomm's largest and most profitable clients. Although the stock price eventually stabilized, the initial decline underscored the significant role that Apple plays in Qualcomm's financial health. For investors, this is a stark reminder that even well-established companies must continually adapt to the rapid pace of technological change and shifting market demands. In response to these challenges, Qualcomm is not sitting idle. Recognizing the need to diversify its revenue streams, the company has been actively broadening its portfolio beyond traditional smartphone modem chips. One major area of investment for Qualcomm 
Qualcomm is the automotive industry. With the rise of autonomous driving and advanced vehicle connectivity, the automotive sector presents an enormous opportunity for semiconductor companies. Qualcomm is also expanding its presence in the personal computer market by developing processors and other chip solutions that can compete with the emerging technologies in laptops and desktop computers. Additionally, the company is making significant investments in virtual and augmented reality. Fields that are expected to see tremendous growth as new digital experiences and the concept of the metaverse continue to evolve. By tapping into these diverse markets, Qualcomm aims to create new revenue streams that will help offset the impact of losing a major client like Apple. For the everyday consumer, the shift to Apple's in-house modem chip brings several potential benefits. iPhone users may soon notice improvements in battery life and overall device performance, a direct result of having a chip that is designed specifically for Apple's ecosystem. The tighter integration between the modem chip and other hardware components means that devices can operate more efficiently, translating into smoother performance and potential potentially longer battery life. Over time, as Apple refines its in-house modem technology and rolls out future iterations with millimeter wave support, users can also expect faster, more reliable 5G connectivity, especially in urban areas where high-speed data access is crucial. Beyond the immediate technical advantages, Apple's decision to develop its own modem chip represents a significant strategic shift that could have wide-ranging effects on the broader tech industry. Apple has long been a trendsetter, and its move toward vertical integration taking control of more of its supply chain, could inspire other companies to follow suit. If Apple's approach proves successful, we might see other smartphone manufacturers such as Samsung or Google investing more heavily in developing their own critical hardware components rather than relying on third-party suppliers. This trend could lead to increased innovation across the industry as companies strive to optimize every aspect of their devices. At the same time, the increased competition in semiconductor development could drive down component costs, ultimately benefiting consumers with more affordable and higher quality products. The story of Apple's C1 chip and its implications for Qualcomm is also a tale of adaptation and resilience. In a fast-changing market, Apple's decision to build its own modem chips is a clear signal of its commitment to long-term innovation and self-reliance. By reducing dependency on external suppliers, Apple not only improves its control over product performance, but also safeguards its future by ensuring that every aspect of its devices can be finely tuned to meet its high standards. On the other hand, Qualcomm's experience highlights the importance of strategic agility. Despite the immediate challenges posed by losing a major client, Qualcomm is proactively diversifying its business to enter new markets. This diversification may help the company not only weather the current storm, but also emerge stronger in the long term. It is worth considering the broader implications of these developments for the semiconductor industry as a whole. Apple's move toward in-house chip development is not just a supplier change. It is a strategic pivot that has the potential to set a new standard in how companies approach product design and innovation. The integration of hardware and software is a powerful combination. And by taking control of its own chip production, Apple is positioned to drive forward innovations that could benefit the entire tech ecosystem. This evolution may also prompt a reevaluation of the traditional roles within the industry. Companies that once thrived by providing specialized components might find themselves having to reinvent their business models in order to stay competitive. In a market defined by rapid change, the ability to adapt and innovate becomes essential. For investors, the unfolding drama between Apple and Qualcomm offers a compelling case study in market dynamics and strategic risk. The the initial decline in Qualcomm's stock price was a direct response to the news that one of its biggest revenue streams was in jeopardy. However, as the market began to assess Qualcomm's proactive steps to diversify its business, the stock started to stabilize, reflecting a cautious optimism about the company's long-term prospects. This situation underscores the fact that even established companies with deep expertise can face unexpected challenges when market conditions shift. It also highlights the importance for investors to keep a close eye on how companies manage their strategic transitions and adjust to new realities. From a technical perspective, the development of the C1 modem chip is a remarkable remarkable achievement that speaks volumes about Apple's capabilities. Designing a high-performance modem chip in-house is no small feat. It requires overcoming complex challenges related to design, production, and integration into an ecosystem that is already finely tuned for performance and efficiency. Modem chips must handle the intricate processes of wireless communication while ensuring that they do so reliably and with minimal power consumption. The fact that Apple has been able to create a chip that meets these demands, even if it currently lacks millimeter wave support, Support, demonstrates the company's technical prowess and commitment to innovation as future versions of the chip 
incorporate more advanced features, we can expect Apple to set new benchmarks for what is possible in mobile connectivity. This evolution in chip technology is more than just a technical upgrade. It is a strategic reimagining of business models in the tech industry. Apple's move to develop its own modem chips reflects a broader trend toward vertical integration, where companies aim to control more of their supply chains to achieve better performance and efficiency. This trend has significant implications for the entire industry, as it challenges long-standing relationships between device manufacturers and component suppliers. For companies like Qualcomm, this means that adapting to new market realities is not optional. It is essential for survival. The strategic shifts underway in the semiconductor industry are a reminder that innovation is an ongoing process, one that requires constant evolution and reinvention. As we look to the future, it is clear that the impact of Apple's decision will be felt across multiple dimensions. For Apple, the benefits of greater control over its hardware design are likely to manifest in more optimized devices, improved performance, and enhanced battery life. Consumers will enjoy the tangible benefits of these improvements in their everyday experiences, from faster data speeds to more reliable network connections. Meanwhile, for Qualcomm, the challenge lies in transforming a potentially disruptive setback into an opportunity for reinvention. By investing in new markets such as automotive technology, personal computing, and immersive digital experiences, Qualcomm is laying the groundwork for a more diversified and resilient business model. The ripple effects of these strategic decisions extend beyond the companies involved. They offer a glimpse into the future of technology, where the lines between hardware and software become increasingly blurred, and where the ability to innovate and adapt is the key to long-term success. As other manufacturers take note of Apple's success with in-house chip development, we may see a broader shift in the industry, a move toward greater integration, increased competition, and ultimately, more innovative products that benefit everyone. In many ways, the drama unfolding between Apple and Qualcomm encapsulates the dynamic nature of today's tech world. It is a story of bold moves, rapid change, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Apple's decision to build its own modem chip is a clear sign that the company is not content to rest on its laurels. Instead, it is looking ahead to a future where it can dictate the terms of its own technological evolution free from the constraints imposed by third-party suppliers. This forward-thinking approach is likely to fuel further innovation not just at Apple, but across the entire tech industry. At the same time, Qualcomm's response to this challenge is a testament to its resilience and determination. While the loss of a major customer like Apple is undoubtedly a significant setback, Qualcomm is proving that it is capable of reinventing itself. The company's investments in new technologies and markets demonstrate a clear commitment to remaining a major player in a rapidly evolving industry. Even as its stock experienced short-term volatility, Qualcomm's strategic pivot has laid the groundwork for long-term growth and sustainability. For those of us who follow business and technology closely, this ongoing saga is fascinating and instructive. It reminds us that in today's competitive landscape, no company is ever completely secure in its position. The interplay between established giants like Apple and Qualcomm highlights the importance of continuous innovation, strategic foresight, and the willingness to take risks. In a world where technological advancements can disrupt entire industries overnight, Companies that fail to adapt can quickly find themselves left behind. Apple's introduction of the C1 modem chip is more than just a new product announcement. It is a turning point for the semiconductor industry and a signal of major shifts ahead. By taking control of its own modem technology, Apple is setting the stage for a new era of innovation, one that promises better performance, longer battery life, and enhanced user experiences for millions of consumers. At the same time, the challenges faced by Qualcomm serve as a reminder of the risks inherent in an industry defined by rapid change. The companies navigate this evolving landscape. Decisions they make today undoubtedly shape the future of technology years to come. If you're a tech enthusiast, an investor, someone who enjoys staying informed about the latest trends, play between innovation and competition continue to drive the industry forward. Interesting to see how Apple's in-house chip development evolves. Qualcomm adapts to these changes, meaning new opportunities in emerging markets. I urge you to reflect on what this means for the companies involved or for the future of technology itself. Where the boundaries between hardware and software blur, every breakthrough has the potential to reshape the way we live 